Now, see, when we say declaration of consciousness, it goes back in time to England, 1689, when there was the Bill of Rights. That was, the dec it was also called the Declaration of Rights that protected an individual and the parliament from the tyranny of monarchy. That inspired Thomas Jefferson to, in 1776, have and create the Declaration of Independence freedom for a nation. Today we are announcing declaration of consciousness which is freedom for an individual. So what does consciousness entail? The first principle of consciousness is ahimsa, non-violence. There's no place for violence or harming or hurting anyone. The second is honoring the feminine. It's high time. It's only when we honor the feminine can consciousness grow. The third, nurturing children, protecting them, upholding planet Earth, tolerance for every path to the divine. These are just the basics of consciousness and this is the age we step into. And this is the ancient intent of all the masters coming to be reality through each of us. It is also the fact that we've, re we've reached the critical mass where humanity has come to a place and point where we are now ready not only to overflow with consciousness but also to receive it. This critical mass has been reached and that we can celebrate it as today. Yes, we have, received, we have reached the critical mass. And now we are ready to take the steps further for all of humanity. When we wake up to understanding ourselves as the vastness of the spirit, having the human experience, we also understand the oneness of it all, the oneness of each of us, the oneness of all the living, and the perfection within all the oneness. The moment we attain the realization that we are the vast, beautiful beings having the human experience. Mother Earth will be a beautiful place. We will be happy people. And there would be no reasons ever to have war.